we were cl clear then and we are clear now that uh, what has been true uh, in Egypt is should be true in Iran, which is that people should be able to express their uh, opinions and their grievances and seek a more responsive government. Uh, what's been different is the Iranian government's response, uh, which is to shoot people and beat people and arrest people. Um, and, you know, my hope and expectation is, is that we're going to uh, continue to see uh, the people of Iran uh, have the courage to be able to express uh, their yearning uh, for greater freedoms uh, and a more representative government. Understanding that America cannot uh, ultimately uh, dictate what happens inside of Iran any more than it could inside of Egypt. But ultimately, these are sovereign countries that are going to have to uh, make their own decisions. What we can do is lend moral support uh, to, uh, uh, to those who are, are seeking a better life for themselves. Uh, obviously, we're concerned about stability throughout the region. Um, each country is different. The message that we've sent even before uh, the demonstrations in Egypt has been to friend and foe alike that uh, the world is changing, that you have a young, uh, vibrant generation uh, in, uh, within the Middle East uh, that is looking for greater opportunity, and that uh, if you are governing these countries, you've got to get out ahead of change. You can't uh, be behind the curve. And so uh, you know, I think that the thing that will actually achieve stability in that region is if young people, if ordinary folks end up feeling that there are pathways for them to feed their families, get a decent job, get an education, aspire to a better life.